What's up guys, today's an awesome day. We are, we got some projects to do today, starting with hanging out with Carol. Uh, we gotta get Carol some food, get her some free flight time, but we're going to install the um, Tacoma Beast headlights on my truck. Hey, pretty girl. Hey, you. Oh. Carol's, uh, she's, she's still making a lot of progress, but it's always like two steps forward, one step back. It's been a work in progress. She's doing good though. Hey, but you wanna go to your perch? Ah, not up there. This package has been sitting here for a while. It's from an auto group. So let's uh, let's crack it open and see what they sent us. <laughs> nice, sweet. We got some uh, we got some pups. Whoa, these are real, dude. What? These these are these are real, real Yetis. These are like really nice. Wow, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Another one in here, there's two, two of them. Holy crap! I can't believe they're really any. These are like 30, 30 plus dollars. I'm sure you're supposed to clean these first. But... Yeah! <laughs> okay, it says right there, Clint Newell Extreme Edition. Not one, but two flex fit hats. How's it look guys, be honest. Does it look okay? It's comfortable. Got decals for days. Look at that. American flag themed. American flag themed. American flag. These are all Amer it's all you need is America right here. I like it. We should put one on the Can Am. Okay, we got a Nike regular. This is a regular fit Nike XL. You know, I, I sell T-shirts. Um, oh, we have Max Powell gear merch if you want to call it that. And uh, you know, I know it's tough to get a nice quality cut and to have Nike shirts. That is like. Woo, another large. Wow, hey, cool. Thank you so much, and I love that they're Nike. This has gotta be like one of the greatest mail time episode polls. I think like, just like, what an awesome gift from you guys, thank you. So, I'm gonna put up their Instagram account. I think they have two, one for like auto stuff and one for like purely off-road stuff. Go give those guys a follow. They, you know, as you can see, are extremely generous, and I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for the hacks and the Yeti cups, and the logos, the American flag logos, we'll probably slap one on something. And uh, yeah, really cool, I appreciate it. Okay, on the main order of business is this big gargantuan box. When this showed up, I totally didn't even know what it was. I was like, what? I don't remember ordering a pallet or stuff. But uh, then I, I recognized the Tacoma Beast logos, in fact, Coincidentally enough, I got my Tacoma Beast hat here. So as much as I love this hat, and I do, I will wear it, I promise. I gotta, I gotta switch back to the Tacoma Beast because it's just so fitting. Ah, okay, big boxes of wonderful goods. A double box? What is this? A box within a box? Ah! Ah! Oh, sweet foam. They're not messing around with the packaging on these bad boys. There's a secret in there. Oh, dude. Sorry. We, whoa. Look at that was stuffed in there. That is sweet. And it matches my hat. Perfect. All right. I know you guys didn't come here to watch a full grown man change his clothes and drink coffee, play with his pet bird. You came here to see what? These are sick. Oh, you came here to see these bad boys. What? Holy, dude, that is, that is sick. Look at that black, like true black housing with dual square kind of headlights, still projectors. But then the coolest part is yet to come. It's this, this line here is all LED. Wow, these look super, super clean. I wonder, I wonder if they snuck any other goodies in here. I'm sorry. Nice. There would be the passenger side. Just take a look at that. That black housing. I'm excited to install them. So let's get the Maverick out of the garage. Carol, you need to just stay there for a bit, okay? Good girl. Okay, Carol, stay. So 
So reach back in there and unplug everything that's possibly plugged into your headlight. You're gonna have a Phillips tip right up here. Right down there, that guy is just kind of wedged in. It just, it just held by friction. It's just kind of clipped in there. Um, you wanna just pop that out and then this guy, that's your grill coming through. Just don't. Oh, uh, what? Bye. No! <laughs> Welcome, Bodie. Anyways, back to what we were doing. I love how she came out here to tell me that I'm gonna have to do the dishes tonight. Super nice! Okay, so we are also going to have to remove, but probably not entirely remove, but remove the grill as well. So that's also a Phillips tip screwdriver up top here. Come out to play. <laughs> okay. Okay. Kind of pop out, and I'm really hoping that I can kind of get this. Yeah, there we go. Because I got this bar here. Look at this. Can you see the moisture inside of mine? That's one of the big downsides of doing this retrofit yourself. There's moisture in there. Now, if I got moisture in these new headlights, I would probably call up Tacoma Beast and be like, hey, I got moisture in here, and they would probably just send me new ones. <laughs> because they're cool like that. Well now they're gonna now they're gonna have to be cool like that. <laughs> Sorry guys. I think that's a 12 millimeter. If I get that out, I might be able to slip this whole deal out with this gap here that I've created and not have to take my bumper off. If I have to take my bumper off, oh man, that's like it's like a serious process. I mean. It's not that bad, but I really don't want to do it today. I got stuff to do. Oh, disaster. So pretty much I'm gonna have to take the bumper off. There's just no getting around it. I, get a, I have this fiberglass filler piece here and the bolts that are holding the uh, headlight are inside of there and you'd have to go straight up through here. So that bumper has got to come off in order to install these. God, I hate that. I'm gonna have to change my sweater. I'm kind of committed at this point, so I gotta drop this bumper, pull the grill off, pull these things off. Basically took, take the whole front end of the truck apart. <laughs> but uh, I don't think everyone will have this problem. It's, it's just kind of because my truck's so, so ridiculous. So um, still gonna be worth it. Those headlights look super nice. Okay, got it, sweet. Night night. <laughs> That's a nice little bed thing there. Oh, Carol's up there. There's a Carol. Good job. Okay, guys, everything is reinstalled. I just got to plug in the lights, and we'll be good to go. Okay. Super excited. You vlogging? Okay. Hey, buddy, look at that. That looks good, huh? Uh -oh. Those look so clean. Wow. I am really stoked about how these turned out. They look awesome. Super, super clean. They got the nice factory fit, uh, but they're all really blacked out. And then that, that line just looks so clean. That LED, just black. Yeah. Big fan. She is, she's looking good. 
Let's leave the keys in there. <laughs> we'll just, I backed it out so okay. I could put the snake in. Reach in there. We'll put a snake in the box. Reach in there, there's a gift for you. Take that top one. Isn't that sweet? It's super cool. I thought you actually did have like something no. scary in there. No. <laughs> Check that out. A company sent me those. They're actual real Yetis. They're just snake inside the really nice. Those are super nice. They sent one for each of us. Cool. That's, thank you. Yeah. Here's a hat too. Thank you. And we got t-shirts and decals for your car. Sweet. <laughs> All right, guys, so it's been like maybe two weeks uh, with the headlights. Um, I'm outside, it's pretty dark out, pretty dusky. Got some lights on. I wanna give you guys an idea of what the headlights look like. My like initial thought of these, they, they look super clean. I love the look of them. The LED strip is way cooler in my opinion than just that little ring that I had glued in there. So they come with these yellow bulbs and I don't really like the look of the yellow light, um, but it's a different style than your typical like H11 bulb that comes with the Tacoma. So pretty much all the LED bulbs that I have need to be swapped out with whatever these things hold and I'm not sure what it is. I think this would do really good with like a, an HID conversion kit. Um, my opinion of the, the light projection, well, I don't think these are really high performance lights as far as like casting your light way out, you know. For the, the price and for like the look of them, they look really awesome, super easy install and it was really, really easy. I'll show you guys kind of uh, the cutoff, the light projection, and um, then we can continue talking about it from there. All right, so you can see the cutoff here. It's not the cleanest cutoff in the world, but it's not bad. You're not gonna be blinding other drivers really, and it's not super wide. Now when I turn on the fogs, it's gonna fill in those other areas. Just as a comparison, you can see how much more light there is when I turn on these little H11 um, fog bulbs. There's just so much more light, and in fact, this ISO on the camera keeps adjusting. It's really hard to film headlights in. It looks brighter in person, I think. But, um, so it really, it really has to do with the bulb that's in this housing more so than I think the projector. But as you can see, the projector doesn't really come out of that housing a whole ton. And so that could be diminishing some of the light. Now what you lose in performance, you definitely make up for in looks. The, these LEDs just look awesome and they're just so bright. It just shoots that line across. I really like the look of that. The blinkers look awesome. The black housing looks great. The square lights look cool. Just the white LEDs. Now it'll probably flicker on camera here, but it doesn't flicker to the naked eye. Look extremely clean. I just really like the look of them. These things are, are legal and safe and they have their illuminated side projector here as well. Okay, so I'm gonna fire up the truck. We'll drive down the road, take a look at the bulbs, and you can get an idea of what the headlights look like and the distance that they go. So yeah, you can see that the bulbs, they project that light pretty far. Yeah, it, to me it's really not bad, it's just, it's just that yellow light isn't very crisp or bright, but it, it does, it sends it pretty far for the most part. It's not bad at all. Now check out, this is, these are my fog lights. So you just see that white light is so much brighter. And now that's amber, yellow. There, that's the white. I, I like the, the um, I like the shape that's projected. You can tell it's two cone-like uh, patterns coming out. And then, yeah, the cutoff is really good. Um, when you're like looking way out, maybe 200 to 300 feet out, you can still see that the light is projected way out there. It's nice and low and flat, and you're not way up blinding cars. Toyota Tacomas have a habit of blinding cars. Um, with my other headlights, it, would, it was pretty often that I would get people flashing their lights at me, even when my lights were just on normal. Um, you don't want your headlights to be so, so bright. The safest setup for your headlights are these kind of yellow amber lights that aren't extremely bright. Now I know not everyone likes that, um, but to me, you know, it is safer. I don't want to blind other drivers or bother other people. But I do think, I do think down the line I might switch these bulbs out with maybe an LED or possibly a, um, 
an HID conversion, uh, or they just have the white-ish halogens um, that you can buy. Those might be a pretty good option. So we'll look forward to doing that in the future. As is for the price, not bad at all. all right, so here's a look at the brights. I'm gonna switch them on here. Definitely casts out a little bit further and quite a bit higher. So if you're looking for something like uh, retrofits that has a custom look and uh, is affordable, this is a great option. These are $398 on the Tacoma Beast website. I'll leave a link in the description below. They do a perfectly fine job projecting light. And I think if we were to put an upgraded bulb in there, they would do even better. The retrofit source and those type of LEDs or the custom made ones, which run around a thousand to sometimes upwards of like $1,500 for headlights. I think this is an awesome deal, super cool option. I'm really, really happy with them. I like them a lot and I'll probably pick up some of their tail lights at some point just so everything matches. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you found it helpful and informative. Uh, get some work done this week, but don't forget to live.